No one has really discovered the benefits of copaiba until now, although it's been historically used. We now are truly starting to understand the science behind this, and I think that the benefits of this oil are completely untapped. We had to wait until after January as the waters came up so that we could access the trees. So their main uh, collection season is between January and June when the water is high. So now we're gonna go up and see the copaiba trees firsthand and see how they collect the resin. The way that oil is extracted as an oleoresin is that a tree is tapped like you would a, a maple tree. And as that tree is stressed, that oleoresin then is called to the source of, of where it's been stressed. And then we're able to extract that oil, which will run year round. We're about an hour and a half as he's drilled through the tree to collect just this much oil. That helps you understand how much work goes into collecting this oil. And after this is distilled, it's about 50% yields, so we'll get about half as much oil. And then he'll come back to this tree six months later and he'll be able to get about a, a liter worth of resin from this tree. Copaiba oil really has kind of hit the scientific community, you know, like a shooting star. And we didn't really understand what was so neat about it until the research started coming in about beta caryophylline. So the way that we understand it, the phytocannabinoid, so the beta caryophylline in this case, comes in and interacts with a receptor on the cell surface. You think of your windows of your house, right? You're getting things that are interacting with your window, and it changes what you do inside your house. You don't actually come into contact with it, but it changes what you do. If you see rain on your window, you pick up an umbrella. You wear a different outfit that day. Right? So it's that same kind of idea. We're having things that are interacting with the surface of the cell. They're changing things that are happening inside the cell. There's a cascade. There's this, this chain reaction of things that happens once that receptor gets activated. And other molecules inside the cell start to get excited and they start to change and they start to interact with other things. And eventually what happens is the DNA inside of our nucleus actually goes to work and different genes are upregulated or downregulated. Other signaling molecules are either increased in amount or decreased in amount. We have support and strength that can come to the immune system of the body and the immune functioning of the body. We have support and strength that can come to the endocrine system of the body. If you combine those two things together, now we're talking about the chemical profile of the body, especially through the endocrine system. And a lot of times we have discomfort in a variety of different ways and we can be inhibitory of those processes within the body. We can actually stop them from occurring. And so a lot of people have remarkable outcomes in a variety of different ways with the discomfort that they're feeling. In the end product, what we're looking for is we want exactly what we find in the plant. And that comes with a lot of time and a lot of experience and understanding the plant materials that you're working with. But, and even the uniqueness of the chemistry, whether we have dominant compounds or whether we have more subtle compounds in chemistry within the oil, each one of them plays an important role in the value of the overall constitution of the oil and the benefits that we can expect to have from that oil. One thing that is unique about our copaiba essential oil is that we're using four different species from the copaifera trees. This makes a very complete profile where you see maybe other copaiba that is offered and it's just simply a fraction which is just a, a part of all of the components that are available through the different species. Where we're using all four, the reason we've done this is to create a unique synergy with the chemistry. Not only are we looking for purity, but we're also looking for therapeutic potency. The trees aren't harmed in any way. This is a very sustainable way to be able to collect this essential oil. And I think the, the potential for this oil in the Amazon is completely endless. There are so many trees and we're going to be able to create hundreds of jobs. And that will just grow over time as we bring this market to the world. We love to see how it's sourced. We love to see how it's collected, how it's distilled. But the most important part is for us to connect with the people who are creating it for us. These are real people. Their lives matter. And for us to truly get to know them, to understand what their family is dealing with, to understand what their needs are, and to really come together as one is the most beautiful thing. As árvores 
ganhamos um presente, um presente que nos dá vida, a vida das árvores, das árvores. Ganhamos ar e sombra, saúde e sabedoria, um dom que vem das árvores, das árvores. 